Hopefully everyone is aware of OD Copy and Paste and its ability to copy and paste geometry between all of these apps. If you're a Lightwave user currently learning a bit of Blender, here's a few basics when swapping geometry between apps. But this first one is just a tip for you, us, our Lightwave users. <laughs> Download and install those scripts. For ease of use, I have these options mapped to my right mouse button menu here. Modeler has the copy paste functions, layout has just the paste functions. If you need to copy items into Modeler from layout, you need to get OD tools. Now this could be absolutely anything, but here I've just created a two point polychain and added a weight map to it. I just wanted to experiment and see if I could dangle some cables using fiber effects. That's all I need from modeling. I just want to get that into layout now. So I'm not going to save anything. I'm just going to go to this magic copy to external option here. I'm now going to pop over to layout and I'm going to paste from external. There we go, no fuss, and I now have geometry to work with in layout. This isn't about what I'm doing. This is about being creative and not allowing the split app to get in the way. So I don't want to be thinking about file structures and what to call it. I just want to know if an idea will work. So this is where OD copy paste is actually quite liberating. So for this, it was just enough to know that it was going to work. If I wanted to save out and take further, I could do so quite easily. But this little experiment is done, it's time to move on. Second tip, let's get into a bit of Blender. Follow the install instructions on the website and it should pop up here. When it is installed, you will find it under object mode and under this object tab here, copy to external, paste from external. These are the two that we need. We're gonna pick a subject which is a pain in the ass to do in Lightwave, but quite simple in Blender. We're basically just going to cap this sphere here, but keep it quads. Okay, so we're going to simply copy to external. We're going to go over to Blender, hit object, paste from external. Sometimes you get this error. Not all the time, but sometimes. I'm not sure why it happens, but everything seems to go across okay. Let's jump over into edit mode and select that top row of edges. Let's now go to face and grid fill. Single click, lovely. All these options to play with. So we're happy with that. Let's jump back into object mode. Object, copy to external. Jump over to Lightwave and paste from external. And there we go. A word of warning though, pasting from external will obliterate everything that's on this layer. So let's undo that and I'm gonna to go to a new layer and I'm gonna paste it into this new layer, just so I can check it against the old version. So that's really nice and you'll also notice that it's kept all the material settings. Tip three, so we have our object here in Blender and I'm just gonna move it up a little bit like this and I'm gonna copy it and paste it into Modeler. But what we notice is that it hasn't moved at all. There's a quick way around this. Back in Blender, we have to apply any of the translations we've made in object mode. So if we do this, copy to external, back into modeler and paste, we should find that it's positioned itself correctly. Tip four, copy and pasting happens before the modifier. So let's add a solidifier to this as an example. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's go and copy that. Jumping over to Modeler and pasting it, you'll notice that that solidify has not taken effect. Basically, that means if you have used modifiers, you're gonna to have to apply them first and then copy and paste. What's this, tip five? Working with curves. Very nice feature in Blender. I very much like it. But it's not all gravy. <laughs> Try copying a curve, you'll get an error. It doesn't work. So we've got to work around it. We don't want to destroy the curve here, so we're going to make a duplicate. Eventually, we'll be turning this into a mesh. But before we do that in wireframe mode, I'm going to tweak the resolution sliders to make sure we don't have a ton of unnecessary geometry. 
Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna convert this to a mesh and then I'm gonna copy it to external. Jump over to Modeler and paste it in. And there we have it, a nice clean piece of geometry. And let's not forget, we don't need Modeler at all. We can go straight from Blender into Layout. So again, if you wanted to experiment, you can do that without the hassle of saving. While we're here, it's worth mentioning something it can't do, and that is copy curves from Blender into Lightwave. So there's a really nice array of curves to play with in Blender. Let's just go for a spherical curve here. So in object mode, if we now go to copy to external, as we found earlier, it doesn't work. So what you might think of doing is we could go to convert to mesh, then copy it to external and paste that into modeler. But as you can see, it doesn't do the lines, it just does the points, which is not what we want. So let's go back to Blender and undo that. There we go, so now we're back to curves. Under bevel, let's just give it a very tiny amount. We may have to change this twist method. Also worth remembering is to keep that fill cap unticked. Let's now convert this to a mesh. So object, convert to mesh. Let's copy it to external. That's all good. Paste from external. Let's select a couple of these copy the edge, delete, paste back that edge in. Now if we use EF toggle line curves, it's now a curve. If anyone knows of a quick way of doing this, then let me know in the comments. So just a basic overview there, I hope it was useful.